Hello and welcome. My name is Dennis Mabuka. In today's video, we're going to be making this really cool morphing effect inside Blender. And we'll be using video textures. We'll be using the same techniques in the previous glitching, <coughs> in the previous glitching tutorial. So if you haven't seen that one yet, please check it out. So the idea with animated using animated texture maps is that any place where you would usually be using image textures, you can use an animated texture map to have things change with time. And uh, in this video, we're going to be using these two uh, video textures. And as you can see, they have exactly the same uh, length so that we can synchronize the effect they have inside our animation. And uh, we'll be using these two textures to basically achieve three, thing three things and then overlay those three things to have this final effect. We'll use this first texture to influence the displacement of the shoe and also have it emit light as it displaces uh, the shoe. And then we'll use the second one to have the shoe change color with the time. And then when you overlay all those effects together, the final effect will be this really nice morphing effect that you have. So let's go ahead and jump into Blender and see what we can do. So inside Blender, you will notice we have a model of our shoe, which is separated into different parts, and each part has a different material. So we'll begin by going into edit mode and unwrapping the model. And something really, really cool in 2.8 is you can select uh, all the different parts, uh, although they're separate objects, and go into edit mode for all of them at the same time and unwrap them at the same time. This is something that was previously impossible in 2.8 and it really really saves us time here so we'll go to the side view then project from view and keep in mind depending on how you unwrap your model we'll decide how the texture is mapped onto your shoe so you can have uh, different cool effects depending on how you unwrap your model in fact uh, for the cinematic here at the end for my logo this thing here that happens at the end with the with the light is entirely by accident. Uh, I just randomly unwrapped the model and this just seemed to happen, which was really nice, I think. I'll keep the size of the UV map relatively smaller compared to the size of the texture because of how fast I want that effect to go through the shoe. If I, the larger I make it, the slower it will be and the smaller I make it, the faster it will be. So I'll just tweak it until I have a speed that I'm happy with. So now that we have everything in our scene unwrapped, we'll begin by making the displacement effect uh, using the displace modifier. So I'll add a displace modifier and add a new texture. And in the texture, we're going to use uh, this first video texture. So I'll name the texture and then under the textures tab, I'm going to load it. And then I'll hit this button so that it can use all the frames from the video. And then back under the modifiers, I'm going to set the texture coordinates to UV. So if you now hit play on your timeline, you'll notice that the video is influencing the displacement of the model. So instead of going through that entire process for all the different parts of the shoe, you can select all the parts with the part with the modifier highlighted last then hit Control L and link the modifiers. And you'll see that the displacement is now affecting all the different parts of the shoe. So after giving the shoe a nicer pose, we have something that looks like this. Okay, now that we have that done, let's work on the color transition. So we'll move over to the shading tab and you'll see that the shoe already has a material setup. And for each part of the shoe, you will notice that for the principal shader, there are two different colors uh, feeding in, um, being mixed before feeding into the principal shader. And uh, for this particular effect, we, we just want the color to, just the, the same material, but the color to change. But you could also have um, the material change from one material to a completely different material by just using this mask and 
mixing between two different shaders like this. So I'll just import an image and load that texture into that image and make sure I'm using uh, all 120 frames of the video. And it, I'll leave the start frame at one and just use that to mix between these two colors. And that's really all you need to do for that. So you can repeat the process for all the other different parts. And when you're done, you will have something that looks like this. Then combined with the displacement effect, it will give you something that looks like this. So it's already looking kind of cool, but we can still add a little bit of spice for those extra sexy points. So lastly, we'll add the light streak, which I think ties together the whole look and makes it look really, really nice. And we're going to just add it to this one part of the shoe, the large surface area. And we'll do this by adding, uh, combining the principal shader with an emission shader, then uh, masking it with the first texture. From there, you can change the color of the emission shader to whichever color you want and increase the strength a bit. And then that's it. You have your final morphing effect. So thanks for watching and I hope you learned something useful. Um, you can find me here, here and here. Please tag me if you make something from this tutorial. I'd really like to see them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.